All right, welcome back. Um, as I've previously mentioned, uh, vertical curves in geomatics and surveying um, are based upon parabolic curves. And the reason behind that is because uh, parabolic curves uh, provide a constant rate of change uh, between the entering tangent and the exiting tangent. All right, so let's say we wanted to find the location of a certain point on this vertical curve. Let's say that point was right here. I'm gonna call that point P. Okay, we're interested in that point and we wanna find um, what the elevation of that point is. Okay, so since the since a vertical curve is based off the parabolic function, we can actually use um, we can actually use that function to find the elevation, um, and we have a certain a special formula that's that's similar to the vertical, I'm sorry, to the parabolic curve uh, function that you've learned in math. So generally, a parabolic function um, has the form of y equals ax squared plus bx uh, plus c. Okay. So I'm actually going to rearrange this formula just a little bit so it better suits um, the equation that we want to use uh, for elevations and, and such. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this to y is equal to c plus bx plus ax squared. Okay, it's the same equation, I'm just rewriting it uh, just a little bit differently. So let's actually go through the go through this equation, and see how the terms and variables relate um, to the parameters and the characteristics that we discussed in the previous video. Okay, so um, so let's start off with y. So y, um, if you think about just a regular parabolic curve on a simple uh, a Cartesian coordinate system where you have your x and y axis, y is simply uh, the value from the x axis to any any point uh, going up. So in our in our case, y is actually going to be the elevation um, of point P. Okay, so y is going to be the distance from some datum or the x axis up to the point P, okay? So the next term we wanna look at is uh, C, okay? So C, C, let's say our axis was actually, um, or at least our Y axis ran through the BVC, okay? Um, if that was the case, then C would be equal to the elevation of the beginning of vertical curvature. So in our case, C is equal to elevation of this point. All right, so then our last, or I'm sorry, it's uh, elevation BC, yeah. So our, our next term here would be uh, BX plus BX. So B is actually the entering um, grade or grade one, in our case it's it's this grade, so grade one uh, times x. And x, remember, is any distance from the BVC to the point we're studying. So in our case, um, x would actually be uh, this distance right here. All right, and then finally, our last term, which is ax squared, um, it's kind of a two-part term. Um, our x is the same x that we have here, right? And then a is actually, uh, it's, it's a special little formula. It's the difference in grades um, divided by twice uh, the length of the curve. So the difference in grade, grade two minus grade one divided by uh, two times l, okay? So that's this, this is a and then, then you have x squared. All right, so this is this equation right here is the equation we'll be using 
to do things like finding the elevation of point P or any point that we're interested in. And we can also use it uh, to find other things. Let's say we already had the elevation of P and we actually want to do know how far away from the BVC was located. Then we would use this formula and we would calculate X, okay? So in the next several videos, we'll get a little bit more custom to this equation um, and then we'll go from there. All right, see ya.